you everyone. The uh, thinking window is now closing. Okay, um, thank you very much. We've now switched our thinking to look at the downsides, the things that are not so good. So, uh, again, same sort of template as before. We're starting in a slightly different place. We started over here, so we're starting over there. Um, we asked the same thing. Just remind us again, we're talking about this topic, and here's a strong minus point. Okay, you guys at the back there, you were lawyers, weren't you? This is where the lawyer takes a percentage. Big strong minus point now. Big danger, big difficulty. Uh, could, uh, could make me want to sue more because they are no going to make money or they don't pay the lawyer. Thank you very much. Yeah, could make them want to sue more. They'll look for every opportunity. Oh, did you hurt your hand? Then I can uh, look after you there. That's a possible case for uh, suing the school, the building, the hotel. Okay. So, yes, it could be a real difficulty. Thank you very much. Okay, what were you looking at, please? Uh, please help me. Ah, uh, yes, of course, to serving in the police for a year. Okay, big minus point. Unexperienced police force. Okay, suddenly all these people coming in that don't know quite what they're doing, they haven't been trained. <gasps> so, big difficulty. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, what were you looking at? Uh, Same as number, all right, number six. The lawyers again taking a percentage. Big, yeah. strong, big strong minus point. Yeah, I mean, there's a limit. Yeah, you're right. It, uh, you know, you're, there's only so much money you can make because you're only taking a percentage. And if they're all little deals, not much money. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Let's go to the back now. Uh, what were you looking at, you guys? Um, Number two, remind us again. Yeah. The badges, yes, of course. I'll get to remember this eventually. Okay, now, uh, big minus point for wearing badges to yeah. show your mood. People who are in a bad mood might, might not want other people to know how they feel. Okay, you don't want to let your teacher, uh, principal, friends know you're in a bad mood, so it might be a downside, but you've got to wear it. So there's the downside. Thank you. Okay. You guys were both you both looking at cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That painted yellow? So, minus point then. Big, strong uh, minus point. Hard to spot in a car park. <laughs> well, by the way, you thought you might say that. Everywhere there's yellow. How to spot it in the car park? Good, strong minus point. Okay. Another one that's different. Yeah, if you don't like yellow, you're just not good. It's tough, isn't it? <laughs> if you don't like yellow, you're really in a difficult situation. Okay. I'm sorry? Ah, you don't have a choice of colour. Another good strong minus point. There's no choice. It can be a good thing in the plus, but now we can say it's actually a bad thing. I don't want the yellow car. Oh, sorry, that's the only choice you've got. It's like, only thing today is chips. If you don't like chips, that's a bad choice. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, one more, and then we'll um, then we'll talk about something slightly different. Um, we've done plus, we've done minus. You know what's coming next? The interesting. Okay, so this is the one where we're not judging it, good or bad. We're simply saying, I wonder, what if, how about? We can ask questions. It doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't say good or bad. We can use anything in this interesting area. Um, so. Same rules as before, the window of thinking will open for two minutes, just two minutes, by my magic timer. Would you please in your groups just think about those things that could be interesting, maybe fixing something that's bad or enhancing something that's good. Off you go, two minutes, starting now.
much indeed. Window of thinking is now closing. So, um, we've done the good things, we've done the not such good things. This is the interesting bit. Again, I remind the words that I use are things like I wonder, what if, perhaps, because they don't have any judgment attached to them. But you can use any word you like. How about, you know, if you scratch your head, mm, I don't know, maybe this. So, um, let's have a free for all this time. So, we've been around the room in fairly organised fashion. Let's hear from each group in turn. We want to know again, just remind us one last time, although I will try to remember what the topic was that we're thinking about in your group. And we'd just like to know one interesting comment, thought, suggestion that, that you guys might have on that topic. That's all we're interested in. Who'd like to go first? Oh, oh my word. Oh, I'm spoiled for choice. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, so you were looking at all cars uh, painted yellow. Yeah, yeah, What's um, an interesting thought? Wood all with the guards and and painted yellow, like the uh, cars and all. Yes. And uh, will people stop driving because they're not just good? Interesting question. Isn't it? Would the guard have the cars have to be painted the same? Would they be like concealed amongst us? Because at the moment, of course, we know what they look like. And the second one was the second interesting uh, point. Would people stop buying cars because it's good? Yeah. Would it put people off buying cars? Interesting question again. And and but remember what I yeah. said. Really important. You know, we are all suffering from difficulties in selling cars. So this could be important question. Well done, thank you very much indeed. Good, strong, interesting comment. Um, interesting point then. Like and this is cars painted yellow as well. Yeah, yeah. This is the automotive panel here. Yeah. Okay, these are the automotive experts here. Okay. It could stop uh, the car crash in the dark because you can see the cars in the dark. Yeah, it could, it could improve visibility. It could reduce car crashes in the dark. Okay. It, it could. Remember, it could is a good word because it doesn't say it will or it won't. It's not about good or bad. It's just it could. Maybe it could. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Right, who's next? Which group would like to now contribute in the interesting? Okay, go ahead. Now, let me just check, check my memory. You guys were doing people should wear badges to say whether in good or bad moods. Yeah. Did I get... Get full marks on that. Yeah. Okay, good. Right, uh, an interesting point then, please. Uh, will people wear the badges? Okay. Simple question. Will they wear the badges? Okay. Will they cheat? Will they switch badges? Could be another possibility. <laughs> Would they think about the process? All we're trying to do is to look at other things than good or bad. We're just looking at the possible interesting comments, questions, thoughts, and so forth. Good. Thank you very much indeed. Three more to go. Now, oh, now this is going to test me, isn't it? Uh, will the police force be uh, the people, Adults having to spend a year in the police force, and your interesting point is? Will the police force be motivated? Will they be time? motivated? Will it, will, what will it do? Question. Yeah. You know, will they be motivated? Question. Okay, excellent. Good, strong, interesting point. Okay, thank you. That leaves us, I think, if I, my poor memory is remembered, is we've got two groups that, do, that were doing the lawyers taking a percentage. Who's going first? Uh, would the percentage win from winning our cases be sufficient enough to piss your boy yourself if you want constantly winning your cases? Good point. Would it be sufficient? Would the percent would if would the percentage be fixed by the government? Would it be would it be enough to make a living? You know, could you have to make a bit on the side? Would you have to get a bonus? You know, for doing it quickly or you know, excellent, good, strong, interesting point. Hi hey guys. Very good point. Would there be enough lawyers? Or would there be enough work? You know, they, would people go for it? All in, in, important, interesting questions. Remember, that's the beauty of interesting. Okay, thank you all very much indeed. Now, we finished that PMI exercise, so we actually did six minutes, two, two, and two, and the whole thing was over. I don't know what you're used to doing when you're having a discussion, but it's very simple and easy. But my question is this, and I'm going to set you another two minutes. And that's the question that I'd like you to think about and answer. The question is, would you please think about when would it be useful, question, when would you think it would be useful to use a PMI? Can you think of some situations when a PMI could be useful? Take a moment or two now in your groups, not thinking about the topic anymore, but when could this be useful? When would there be situations when a PMI could be useful. Okay, I'll set the timer. Let's put. Let's just open the window for one minute. Okay, so one minute. Your time starts now.
Thank you, everyone. The uh, thinking window is closing. So let's just have a... We've introduced ourselves to the talk. We're going to do something else with it to finish off. But before we do that, where do you see it being useful? Where could it be used? Let's look at some situations where we might use it, OK? Let's go around the room. I'm happy for you to contribute when you're ready, so it doesn't have to be a group decision. Does anyone have an example of where a PMI might be useful? Go ahead. If they're choosing to buy a house or a car. Yeah, buying something. Buying a house or a car. Another one, a gentleman at the back there. What's your name again? Uh, Owen. Owen, Owen. What, what do you reckon? When would you use a PMI? Thinking of dropping out of school. Okay. Think, so, so not buying something, but thinking of doing something. Thinking of dropping out of school, thinking of changing your career path, thinking of you know, looking at different jobs. Very useful when making a decision, okay? Thank you very much. Anyone else? Go ahead. Think about your subject. Uh, uh, about your subject. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Thinking about subject, choosing something, choosing something, but making, uh, uh, making, weighing up the decision to to choose something. Okay, go ahead. Uh, either the study or go outside. All right. Okay. So there's another one. What do I do? This or that? Okay. Thank you. Another one. Oh, yeah, another one. Any more? Any more? Yes. Test it's your own opinion, you've got a choice, plus minus interesting. By the way, um, I recommend, I'm still working on, on, on school exams, but, but when people ask, what do you think about this, a PMI is a good structure to answer. So someone says, what do you think about the, uh, the global warming? Uh, well, well, the plus points, there are some plus points of global warming, there's some minus points. It's like having a map in your head to think about something. Okay, excellent, thank you very much indeed. Right. Please can I refer you lastly to the worksheet again. On the right hand page we've been using the practice items and we've been talking about where we might use this process. On the top right there are some simple principles. I just want to cover those off. It's an alternative, number one. The PMI is important because it, it helps you to think. Without it, you may reject a valuable idea that seems bad at first sight. So it's very useful for making a decision with structure. Number, number B there, without a PMI, you are very unlikely to see the disadvantages of an idea that you like. So if I like something, it's very difficult to see the downside. With a PMI, I have to look at the minuses after the plus. Always very useful. C, the PMI can show that ideas are not just good or bad, but can also have an interesting <coughs> aspect. So that's the third dimension. D, without a PMI, most judgments are based not on the value of an idea, but on your emotions. So emotions have a very strong part to play. PMI just allows us to manage those emotions. And finally, the last point about how we use a PMI. With a PMI, you decide whether or not you like the idea after you've explored it, not before. Okay, one last little exercise then I'd like you all to help me with. We're all going to look at the same thing. I put this into context. Everywhere you go, there's traffic congestion. Everywhere, everywhere. <coughs> Not just in Dublin or in Belfast or in London, but every town has. I, I, I go to places and I think to myself, you know, even here this morning, we queued up to get into town. So congestion is everywhere. A little project for us now, just for a few minutes. I'm not going to do any timing. I'd like you to take care of the timing, if you can. I will guide you by just saying, the time is up, let's move on. We're going to do three minutes, that's all, not six. We're just going to do three minutes. One minute plus points, one minute minus points, and then one minute for the interesting. And the topic is that all cars should be banned from town and city centres. That's the topic, that we should have a ban. So you can't come into town in your car. If you want to come into town, you have to park your car and walk or get a bus or something, okay? But we're not allowed to come into town in cars anymore. Cars will be banned. 
Now, I'm not going to go into any more details because that's our job now to think using the PMI device. All I will say is, after the first minute, I will say move on. That means move from P to M. And at the end of the second minute, I will say move on, and that's move on from M to I. Okay? Each group, take your time, but use the minute thoroughly to think about all the things connected with this issue. Do you have any questions before we begin? Okay, so when you're ready then, very simple instruction here, here it comes. Please would you do a PMI on no cars allowed in towns and city centres. Your time starts now. Off you go, please, in your groups. Hey, thank you everybody. Please finish off your BMI. It's great. Now, um, you probably listen to competitions and things, and they always announce the third place, then the second place, and then the first place. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we've all been thinking about the same topic, which is this idea that we don't have cars in town and city centres. So what we're going to do is go to each group and we say, would you like to give us one aspect of your plus point, one minus, and one infinite? Now in the first session, when we practiced this, we did all the pluses, then all the minuses, and then all the interesting. This way, we put it all together in one little package. So for each group, we say, we're all talking about the same thing, What's your PMI on that? So we do one point plus, one point minus, one point interest, and then we move on to the next group. Which group would like to start us off, please? We're all talking about banning cars from town and city centres. Anyone like to give us the results of their PMI? Okay, go ahead, please, this group here. So one plus, one minus, one interesting. Plus point, more space. Two minus points. One minus point, please. What was the downside? Take it longer to get where you need it. 
It's going to take longer. Be, yep, there'll be problems there. Okay, and now interesting. Would people actually do it? Would people actually do it? Would people go? Cool? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Big question. Would people actually go for it? Would they? Would they? Would they follow the rules? Okay. Thank you very much. Your PMI. Thank you. Another group. A PMI, please. PMI from this group. Um, for me, increase the health of people and help walk everywhere. Okay. So plus point, increase the health, walk everywhere. Two. The that second one, the minus point. point. Uh, there's no drive through takeaway. There's no drive. Can't drive through. They can't drive through because there's, there's a walk through takeaway. Okay. And then, um, interesting point. Interesting. Oh, yeah, if you're like out drinking and you walk home, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous, okay? So you're walking home, it's interesting point is that, you know, you're going to be stuck outside and it's going to be difficult. Okay? Okay. So. Thank you very much. Your PMI. Your PMI on no yeah, cars in the city centres. Plus points. Um, plus point one. Plus point uh, uh, cleaner streets because of car fumes. Okay, cleaner streets because there's no car fumes and it's, the air is fresher. Okay, thank you. A minus point? Um, it would affect businesses uh, with like, people getting to work and trying to get to <laughs> Okay, would affect businesses. And an interesting point? Uh, would there be exceptions for uh, ambulance and the policeman? Okay, would, would there be exceptions? Okay, interesting question. Thank you very much. Results of your PMI, please. Uh, the plus one would be, be safer for the pedestrians in the city. It would be safer, thank you. Okay, that's the plus point. Minus point? Uh, it would cause, it, would, it wouldn't or it would cause people to maybe like, rethink on the city centre as much. Okay, yeah, it might reduce business, yeah, I understand, minus point. An interesting point? Uh, would it cause people to use public transport for the city more? Well, a question, would it encourage people to use more public transport? Thank you very much indeed. Your PMI, please? Um, people won't have to wait to cross the road. Okay, okay, so plus point, don't have to wait to cross the road. Safer, okay. Uh, second, the minus point? Uh, for rains when people are walking back to the cars, they get tired. <laughs> yeah, okay, my phone rains. And number three, the interesting aspect? Uh, would people take up cycling? Would people take up cycling? Yeah. Because, yeah. Question: Would bikes be allowed as well? That's another interesting question. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Who's left? A PMI, please, on cars not in city centres on town centres. More room. Plus more point. More room. More room. Okay. Big plus point. Lots more space. Roads would be pedestrianised. Okay. A minus point. Yeah, it could be dangerous, so therefore cars left outside town, people know that they're not going to be used, okay? And an interesting question, or point? Help him out, you guys. An interesting thought about... Question? Maybe, perhaps, I wonder, what if? Anyone? Like to help him out? What could we say? Would garages go... Oh! Interesting point, because... Cars can't come in to fill up with fuel or buy sweets or chocolate, cigarettes, beer, whatever it is you're buying. Okay, interesting point. Would garages go bankrupt in city centres? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, well done. Uh, have we done everybody? Have we done your PMI? Have we done everyone? Well done, thank you all very much indeed. I'm very, very grateful.